the things that stand out to you the most when you think back 20 years ago? No gloves, no time limit, no weight division, no rules. Yep. <laughs> Nobody knew what Grace Jiu Jitsu was. After all my father has done, my family has done in Brazil, nobody knew. I want to fight. I want to do it. It's my job to win. He trained to win. I didn't train to lose. Hi guys, welcome to Top News Age. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications from Top News Age. Today we're going to look at... Royce Gracie Streak 15-3. Let's get started. Royce Gracie is a semi-retired professional mixed martial artist known as a UFC Hall of Famer and Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. He is one of the most influential figures in MMA history and gained fame for his success in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Maybe he is not right to put at the top of the list of all-time winning streaks, but he has the most brutal run. Most of his victories come in the first two minutes of the fight. In this video, we will see all the fights of one of the famous UFC wrestlers of all time. Let's get started. Royce Gracie vs Ken Shamrock 1-0 This was the first professional fight of Royce Gracie held on 12th November 1993 in UFC 1, The Beginning. It was just the start of one of the most famous rivalries of the UFC. Ken Shamrock won all of the three fights so far and wanted to add another one in his streak by defeating the debutant. But it did not happen for him and he lost the fight in the very first round at 57 seconds on a rear naked choke. Royce Gracie vs Gerard Gourdet 2-0 This was the second consecutive fight of Royce Gracie on the same day in UFC 1, the beginning. He was going to face debut in Gerard Gourdet. Fortunately, he won this one as well in the very first round and moved his streak to 2-0. He won the fight at 1 minute and 42 seconds on a rear naked choke submission. Royce Gracie vs Art Jimerson 3-0 Royce Gracie was going to face another debutant on the same day at UFC 1, the beginning. Art Jimerson showed little resistance but couldn't defeat Royce Gracie. The fight continued for 2 minutes and 11 seconds where Art Jimerson lost on bad position submission. Royce Gracie vs Minoki Ichihara 4-0 Royce Gracie faced Minoki Ichihara on 11th March 1994 in UFC 2, no way out. He started well and was looking to make an impact in UFC 2 as well. The fight continued for 5 minutes and 8 seconds and in the end, Royce Gracie won it on G Choke's submission and moved his streak to 4-0. Royce Gracie vs JC Delucia 5-0 This was the second fight of Royce Gracie on the same day in UFC 2, no way out. Jason Delucia had won one fight so far and was looking to defeat the emerging star Royce Gracie. But Royce Gracie proved much more for him, who defeated him in just 1 minute and 7 seconds of the first round. Royce Gracie vs Ramco Pardul 6-0 This was the third fight of Royce Gracie on the same day in UFC 2 No Way Out. He was going to face a debutant, Ramco Pardul, who was very confident of beating him. But Royce Gracie continued his exceptional run in UFC 2. He won the fight at 1 minute and 31 seconds of the first round on G Choke's submission. Royce Gracie vs Pat Smith 7-0 this was the fourth consecutive fight of Royce Gracie on the same day in the same event. This time, he was facing Pat Smith, who had already lost his first fight. Royce Gracie showed great temperament and won the fight at 1 minute and 17 seconds of the first round on punches. Royce Gracie vs Kimo Leopoldo 8-0 Royce Gracie and Kimo Leopoldo faced each other on 9th September 1994 in UFC 3, The American Dream. Kimo Leopoldo was a debutant and very keen to end the 7-0 streak of Royce Gracie. But Royce Gracie showed his experience throughout the 4 minutes and 40 seconds of the fight and won it on armbar submission. Royce Gracie vs Harold Howard 8-1 Royce Gracie faced Harold Howard in his second consecutive fight of the UFC 3, The American Dream on 9th September 1994. Unfortunately, he couldn't produce the desired results this time and lost his first streak fight. He couldn't bear the TKO punches from the strong Harold Howard. Royce Gracie vs Ron Van Cleef 9-1 This was the first fight of Royce Gracie in UFC 4, Revenge of the Warriors on 16th December 1994. After the previous loss against Harold Howard, he really wanted to win this one. Ron Van Cleef tried his best to start his career with a win, but Royce defeated him on a rear naked choke at 3 minutes and 49 seconds of the first round. 
Royce Gracie vs. Daniel Severn 10-1 Royce Gracie was going to face Daniel Severn in his second fight of the UFC 4, Revenge of the Warriors. This was the first fight of Daniel Severn, who looked very strong to beat Royce Gracie. But it was not easy due to Royce's experience. Both of them put on a good show throughout the 15 minutes and 49 seconds of the fight. In the end, Royce Gracie won the fight on triangle choke submission. Royce Gracie vs Keith Hackney 11-1 This was the third fight of Royce in UFC 4, Revenge of the Warriors, which was held on 16th December 1994. Keith Hackney had won one fight so far and was looking to add another one in his streak. But Royce Gracie proved a little tough for him, who won the fight at 5 minutes and 34 seconds of the first round. Royce Gracie vs Ken Shamrock 11-1-1 Royce Gracie and Ken Shamrock were considered arch rivals in the 90s. Their second encounter was held on 4th April 1995 in UFC 5 Return of the Beast. The fight continued for almost 36 minutes but couldn't produce any result. The match had been drawn in the end. Royce Gracie vs Nobuhiko Takara 12-1-1 Royce Gracie faced Nobuhiko Takara on 30th January 2000 in Pride, Grand Prix 2000 opening round. Both of them tried their best throughout the 15 minutes of the fight but couldn't get the results. In the end, Royce Gracie won it on a unanimous decision and moved his streak to 12. Royce Gracie vs Kazushi Sakuraba 12-1 This fight was held on 1st May 2000 in Pride Grand Prix 2000 final round. Unfortunately, Royce Gracie couldn't produce the desired results and lost another fight of his streak. The fight continued for 15 minutes of 6 rounds. Royce Gracie couldn't bear the TKO punches from Kazushi Sakuraba. Royce Gracie vs Hidehiko Yoshida 12-2-2 Royce Gracie faced Hidehiko Yoshida on 31st December 2003 in Pride, Shockwave 2003. This fight continued for 10 minutes of two rounds but ended as a draw. So this was another draw fight in Royce Gracie's streak. Royce Gracie vs Chad Rowan 13-2-2 Royce Gracie was going to face another debutant, Chad Rowan, on 31st December 2004 in K1 Premium 2004 Dynamite. Chad Rowan was a professional MMA fighter with a fight record of zero wins. So it looked very easy for Royce Gracie to defeat him. He only took 2 minutes and 13 seconds of the first round to beat him on wrist lock submission. Royce Gracie vs Hideo Takora 13-2-3 this was another drawn fight of Royce Gracie's streak, which was held on 31st December 2005 in K1 Premium 2005 Dynamite. Premium 2005 Dynamite. Both of them couldn't produce the results in their 10 minutes fight of two rounds. Royce Gracie vs Matt Hughes 13-3-3 <clears throat> Royce Gracie faced the experienced Matt Hughes on 27th May 2006 in UFC 60 Hughes vs Gracie. Matt had won 37 of his fights so far and looked very strong for Royce Gracie. He defeated Royce Gracie via Tiki O punches at 4 minutes and 39 seconds of first round. Royce Gracie vs Kazushi Sakuraba 14-3-3 This was the second fight between Royce Gracie and Kazushi Sakuraba, which was held on 2nd June 2007 in K1 Heroes Dynamite USA. In their first fight, Kazushi defeated Royce. So Royce really wanted to win this time. He worked hard throughout the five rounds and in the end, won on a split decision. Royce Gracie vs Ken Shamrock 15-3-3 Royce Gracie faced the arch rival Ken Shamrock for the third time on 19 February 2016 in Bellator MMA 149. They couldn't produce the result in their last fight, which was drawn after 36 minutes, but this time, Royce Gracie managed to win the fight at 2 minutes and 22 seconds of the first round. Hope you enjoyed our video. Please like, comment and share it. See you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.